Hey guys, this is Mr. Roxy coming at you live from Palm Beach in Florida. It is Sunday evening. It is March the 6th. It is approximately 7 p.m. And I'm just uh, looking down here at my uh, at my phone and uh, I see that the um, crude oil futures uh, has just hit $126. And uh, those are the, uh, the April 22nd futures, $126.50, just uh, a minute ago or so. so um, what I thought I would do is just quickly make a catch-up video, uh, Occidental, the week that was. I mean, it was a really busy week. There's a lot of stuff going on, lots of news during the week. And uh, really interesting for Occidental uh, investors. And uh, as you know by now, I mean, this is probably old news. Uh, Occidental ended the day on Friday, $56.15. And after hours went up another uh, almost 2% to trade at 57.20 after hours. Uh, so what a huge week. So earlier in the week, we learned that um, Carl Icahn had sold some of his shares. And then on Friday, of course, um, uh, there was all this activity related to um, Warren Buffett. And uh, in my haste to share some news with you, I might have uh, glossed over some certain, you know, some facts related to uh, whatever the events were. Uh, and. Um, Effectively, what I wanted to do is just get some news out to you as soon as possible. Uh, but uh, we're going to recap on that just uh, in a second or so. I just want to take a quick look here uh, and take a note of the fact that Oxy's uh, market cap has now hit um, 50 billion, just higher than 50 billion. The uh, price earnings ratio for the trading 12 months is now uh, up to 35. Um, and then we see this huge spike in volume from Friday, 101 million shares traded when the average volume is only about 20 million. And you see the fair value at the bottom of the screen here, uh, basically telling you that um, Oxy is now sort of uh, overpriced, uh, according to um, some analysts anyway. So uh, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, obviously, no one knows where we're going. Um, so a number of people have said, uh, uh, what's going to happen this coming week? Uh, is it too late for me to get in? Uh, you know, I can't answer that. Um, is Oxy going to pull back? I can't answer that either. Is it going to spike some more? Well, nobody knows. Nobody knows. Let's uh, look at the news quickly. So um, what we saw during the week was uh, Carl Icahn uh, sold some Occidental Petroleum, which brought his position back down to about uh, sort of just under $2 billion in uh, terms of his total investment. And what we saw this evening, so this is uh, Sunday, March the 6th, which is today, uh, activist investor Carl Icahn exits Occidental Petroleum after nearly three years, according to the Wall Street Journal. It says that uh, Carl Icahn exited a bet on Occidental Petroleum, selling the last of what was once a roughly 10% stake in the oil and gas producer. Citing a letter, this is the Wall Street Journal, that he sent to the Occidental board on Sunday. So that is as of today. So if you have not heard this news yet, then you're hearing it year first. Uh, but this has been news since about uh, three o'clock this afternoon, which is about four hours ago. ICANN, who said he who had been cutting his position in recent days, sold the remainder of it, the report said, adding that the activist investors to representative on Occidental's board are also resigning. A representative for ICANN Enterprises confirmed the Wall Street story, but did not provide a copy of the letter to Reuters, citing confidentiality. And then we uh, saw, obviously, during the week, and this is where I need to provide some clarification, because in my haste to, uh, to get the news to market, I might have um, misinterpreted. I'm not too sure. I need to go back and take a look at that. But Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway disclosed a $5 billion stake in Occidental Petroleum. I do want to make mention here of the difference between common bought on the open market and uh, his, his warrants, which he still holds. So this is according to Barons. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway owns 9.8%. I don't want to subscribe, thank you very much. In Occidental Petroleum, worth 5.1 billion after furious buying activity in shares of the big energy company this past week. Berkshire Hathaway disclosed late Friday in a Form 4 filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission that it held 91.2 million shares of Occidental Petroleum, up from 29.8 million shares on Tuesday, which was disclosed in a separate filing on Friday. So on Friday, we saw two filings. And um, you have to file a uh, Form 4, and you also have to file a Form 13G if there's a material change in ownership. 
On Friday, Barron's reported that Berkshire holding, uh, the Berkshire holding of 29.8 million shares, but not the full holding of 91.2 million reported that same day in a separate filing. On Wednesday through Friday, Berkshire had bought more than 60 million shares of Occidental, fueling a surge in the energy company's share price. So if you still had questions as to why Oxy suddenly spiked, that is the answer. The biggest daily gain occurred on Friday when Occidental surged 17.6% or $8.40 to close at $56.15. Now, many people have asked questions in the um, community chat forum, uh, and several of these questions I have not responded to yet. And these include questions as to um, whether you should exit, take some profit, whether you should buy more, uh, is it too late to get in? Uh, how do I sell? How can I best minimize or mitigate the, uh, the tax uh, event that will be created if I exit my position? Now, two videos prior to this one, I actually made a video specifically addressing some of the uh, tax strategies that you can use if you're exiting. And some of those strategies are specific to US investors, but others are pretty much general and uh, anyone can use them. I just want to tell you what I did briefly, and then I'm going to wrap it up here. So uh, on Friday, late on Friday before the market closed, um, I sold most of my expensive Oxy stock. So uh, what that means is that in the same way uh, you can issue an order saying uh, last in, first out, first in, first out, or whatever. Uh, one of the uh, choices that I have in my Occidental account where I hold my, uh, my Occidental shares uh, is also to sell my most expensive stock. So what I looked at was my history of uh, Occidental ownership over the past couple of years. And I uh, looked at the quantity of Occidental stock, uh, which I bought, for example, in the 30s. So I have a few tranches that I paid, uh, you know, 32, $34, et cetera, uh, for. And I sold those positions uh, for $52. So $52 was my exit price for that particular uh, lot that I sold but the lot is made up of separate, separate tranches. Um, and uh, each of those had a, a cost basis of around $34, $32, et cetera. So I sold a couple of thousand shares at $52. Because I sold my most expensive stock, uh, effectively my gain is significantly reduced because if I had sold any stock, especially uh, maybe some of my last in first out, uh, my cost basis might've been 10, 11, $12 on those stocks and I didn't want to sell them, I wanted to keep those. So I sold my most expensive stock first. So I sold a couple of thousand shares of uh, Occidental Petroleum and uh, realized the gain on that, uh, uh, on that exit. And um, effectively, I now have a cash position, which is always cash awaiting investment because I never want to sit on too much cash, uh, especially cash sitting idle because it just loses value. And I retained all the stock that I purchased uh, of Oxy on the way down. So when we think back of Oxy going all the way down from you know, the, the 20s into the teens and uh, eventually even uh, making a U-turn at around $9 or so per share, I picked up uh, stock in tranches of like 1,000 shares at a time when it was going down. Right now, my cost basis on Occidental is only $12. But in reality, I'm almost playing with the house's money. So whatever happens uh, from this point forward with Occidental, um, you know, as the stock appreciation occurs, or even if it pulls back a little bit, I'm somewhat indifferent. And at the same time, uh, it now moves from my sort of speculative uh, bucket, if I could put it that way, in terms of how I viewed it and where it was, to a sort of more value investment, right? So I have a cheap stock with a cost basis of around $12. It's paying me a, a little dividend right now, which is probably going to increase over time. We should see some stock appreciation, perhaps because of the... Um, Berkshire Hathaway activity. We might even see a little bit of uh, appreciation as a result of the um, 3 billion buyback. You know, so there's a lot of things in favor uh, of Occidental right now, in addition to the fact that uh, WTI futures are trading at $126. Anyway, a few of you did ask the question and I thought it'd be easier just to address in a video. So what did I do? I sold my most expensive stock. I kept thousands of shares uh, with a cost basis of, um, you know, uh, I think my, my most expensive uh, stock that I hold is about $18, but my average cost base is only $12, right? So now if you've got Oxy trading at like $52 uh, or $62, maybe this coming week or whatever, then for me, that would be 
$52 less, $12 uh, with a $40 gain per share. And I have absolutely no intention of exiting that position. So right now, my uh, mindset is 100% hold, right? So that's where I'm at. If you uh, think you might want to open a new position in Occidental, I cannot uh, advise you on that. I cannot recommend it. I know nothing about you. So unfortunately, you have to do your own diligence and make your own decision in that regard. That's where I'm at. That's the news update. So um, we have the Oxy stock. We have WTI at 126 bucks. Obviously, there's massive conflict still going on in the world, especially with Russia, Russia and the Ukraine. We have the uh, ICANN exit. We have the Buffett entry. Um, some of it a new position. He still owns all his warrants. Uh, so that's where we're at. That's the news. Uh, guys, if, uh, if you have uh, other news or interesting stuff you want to share with us in addition, or if you have an idea of where this is going in the future, uh, please let us know in the comments. I think we can all benefit from your uh, comments and from uh, our collective wisdom. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.